Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Butler High School Gymnasium. Tonight we got a great swickle game lined up for you. We've got the Lester Wool Woolies coming in here versus the Butler High School 11 and 1 Indians. Uh, tonight's game, the Woolies are looking for an upset, no question about it. Uh, their season record is 3 and 5. They're 2 and 5 in Swickle. Their last game, the Woolies had an outstanding game against Prouty, scoring 75 points and held Prouty to 45. The Woolies in that game were led by Jack O'Neill, one of the top athletes in Central Mass, who scored 30 points, and Luke Clay had 15 points. Records aside, the Woolies are looking for a big upset in the Bartlett High School gym tonight. Our Indians on a torrid pace come in the game with 11-1 on the season, 6-0 in Swickle. In their last game, they beat Southbridge 89-71. The Indians in that game were led by Logan Peranto with 29 points, and Dylan Grand Mason had 24 points. The Indians... The Indians' pressure defense has proved to be very successful for them this year as they play defense on a torrid pace. And my colleague Jerry Nato is going to go into what they use defensively, but they are outstanding. But we got to be aware of a so-called trap game. This whole season for the Woolies is beating Bartlett tonight. We can't look past any opponent, regardless of record, but I know Coach Peranto, with his intensity, he'll have the Bartlett Indians ready tonight. Right now, we're going to break for our sponsors, and our statistician, Monique Peranto, will read the sponsors. So it's time to read the sponsors. We want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors who help support basket, Bartlett Basketball on the Community Access Channel and online at the Bartlett High website. The Stars and Patterson family, good luck with four generations of BHS grads. Park and Shop Supermarket, Airport Road in Dudley, serving the Webster Dudley community since 1918. Place Motors, 19 Thompson Road in Webster, Massachusetts' oldest family, owned Ford dealer since 1923. Polish American Veterans Club, Gray Street, Webster, good luck to the Indians from your friends at the PAV. Nip Monk Liquors, Thompson Road in Webster, supporting youth activities in our community. Mafray Insurance Company, committed to providing high quality products and services with exceptional customer experiences. The Webster Fishing Game and Disc Golf Club, Gore Road and Webster, check out the fish after a big Bartlett win. Pete Tire and Oyer, South Main Street, Webster, for express oil changes and great tire seals. Nobody beats Pete's. Webster Five Cent Savings Banks, all your banking needs at Thompson Road, Dudley, Webster, Oxford, Auburn, Worcester, and Shrewsbury. Thank you to all our sponsors whose contributions help support the Bartlett, Bartlett Athletic Program. Thank you. Thank you, Mo. Mo's our statistician on our video camera. We've got the ace up there, Nico Avalis, and helping me with tonight's game. As the chief scout for the Bartlett High School basketball Indians is Jerry Nato. And Jerry, You've scouted this team. What's your impression of the Woolies? You know, they record, they record, like you said, Ed, is three and five. I don't really believe that they're that bad of a basketball team. I've seen them about four times. They could probably one of the best pro, pro players in uh, Central Mass. Definitely the top player probably in this league is Jack O'Neill, number five. Uh, they also got another point guard, Brent uh, Goslin and Luke Clay. These kids can play. And then Jordan Jones has come back from Wachusett, took a year out, uh, went to Wachusett, came back to Leicester. This year, number 23. They play a tough man to man defense. They're smaller in size, uh, but they're aggressive. Uh, they, they know what Bowers record is. They're going to come in here and try to upset us. Uh, I, I just think that we're going to bring the ball up and down the field, up and down the court, try to press them. And I think we can cause some turnovers with that. What kind of pace do they like, Jerry? When a lot of teams come in here, they really slow it down when they get the ball in the offense, set it up, set it up, set it up, and it prevents us from that running gun. What kind of pace is Wolverines like? They, they'll, they'll set it up, but they also like to run a little bit. If they can get a defensive rebound and get out and get the ball to the number five Jack O'Neill, he'll shoot it from deep. 
Uh, real good jump shooter from uh, way beyond the arc. So if he can't get it, then they'll set it and try to run it from there. They've only got a couple real good outside scorers. The rest of the kids are just contributors that just help out. You know, but mainly number five and 23, the guys you're going to see try to get some shots from the outside. The Indians have been very successful with the trap and zone pressure. And uh, it really, they do it the entire game. And it really wears teams down. You can tell in the fourth period, it really saps the energy out of the opposition. Do you like that strategy? Yeah, I think, you know, tonight, tonight I think you see that. Uh, you know, talking to Coach yesterday and going over what we wanted to do is I think that we're going to try a little box and one, too. We're going to try to box number five and try to get him out. We can't let him get 40 or 50 on us, and he's capable of doing that. So I think you're going to see a man play him all over the court. We'll double him when we're in the zone. Yes, we're going to press him full court, I believe, as well. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Jerry. We're about a minute before we start this game, and we're going to have the introductions. And first, we're going to have the uh, presentation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bartlett High School. The team of coaches, cheerleaders, student body, and fans of Bartlett High, to so each of you a sincere welcome. We are pleased to be here this evening as our guest. Both schools are playing this game tonight through an agreement entered into by their athletic department. These two schools are members of the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. Fans are reminded that there will be no tolerance for tears or comments that demean, taunt, ridicule, or meant to embarrass anyone who is participating in this contest. The MIAA taunting policy will be strictly enforced. Today, we honor this policy may result in ejection from this event. The visiting team in every interscholastic game is the guest of the whole team. They are expected to be so regarded and so treated. We ask that all fans support us in helping promote sportsmanship during this evening's contest. The Bartlett Athletic Department will be selling tickets for a 50-50 drawing. The winning ticket will be announced at halftime of tonight's game. The lucky winner will report to the scorer's table to receive their winnings. We would like to thank you for your support. We're going to have the introduction of the Lesser Wolverines for this, and I'll give you the starting lineup for the Lilies. Ex guard, senior, number 23, Jordan Jones. Guard, number 23, Jordan Jones. Ex guard, senior captain, number 2, Bryce Goslin. Number 2, senior guard, Bryce Goslin. Ex guard, senior captain, number 5, Jack O'Neill. Senior forward, number five, Jack O'Neill. At forward, sophomore, number 10, Luke Clay. Number 10, Luke Clay, he's a sophomore. And at forward, junior, number 22, Steven Olson. And rounding out the lineup for the Wolverines is number 22, Steve the Wolverines Olson. Wolverines are coached by Mike Lynch, Tom Parisi, and Blake McNamara. Okay, now, the now for your Bartlett York High School team. Indians. Starting at guard, 6'2", <coughs> sophomore, number 13, Colin Manarek. Colin Manarek, number 13, sophomore guard. At guard, 5'10", junior captain, number 2, Brandon Boucher. Brandon Boucher, captain, number 2. At guard, 5'10", senior captain, number 1, Wilson Abar. Wilson Abar, number 1. The off guard, where's number 1? At forward, 6' senior captain, uh, senior number 5, Joseph Anderson. Joseph Anderson gets a start tonight as Dylan Grand Mason is out because he's sick. But Joey's been doing a terrific job. And at forward, six foot senior captain number 12, Logan Peranto. And senior captain number 12, Logan Peranto, runs out the Indian starting lineup. By Tony Peranto, John Frunier, Walter Bradley, Ed Gremsky, Dan Bankston, and Todd Manera. The officials for the team in the game are Dan Victorino and Mike Martin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll ladies stand. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you please rise for the play of our national anthem?
Okay, we're ready for some basketball here tonight. I'm just checking that lineup for the Woolies. They're a little bit higher than I thought they would be. They're a little bit big over there. <laughs> I, Jake, Jake O'Neill, uh, he's got to be up there about 6'1", 6'2", 6'2", yeah. And he's a player, outstanding receiver. Real good jump shot, and he can really get high. Gets high off the ground. Get a real good jump shot. Yep. We're gonna be. We're gonna have to find him and get get a man in his in, in his face the whole time. So we'll see what happens. Okay. We're about set to go. As I mentioned, uh, Dylan Grand Mason is out. He's one of. The, he's been playing outstanding for the Indians. Off the glass, off the glass, and he's come. Been a very, very good scorer. Comes through on the free throw line. Tough guy underneath, but we don't have his services. The flu bug has got him. Okay, we're about to throw it up now. Number 10 is going to jump. Clay against Bush. Controlled by the Woolies. This is Gosselin with the ball. Jones getting it down low. Okay, Joey, nice hands. Yeah, good way to start. Good way to start. Good pressure. Jumping right into a one, two, two, three quarter court trap, Eddie. Yep. That was a nice finish that that time by Bush. Oh, that's a foul. That's a foul. Gonna go against the Wolverines. Looks like number five. Wilson, That's O'Neal. Wilson Ebaugh did a great job boxing him out. He's just, he's just still trying to play a box on him, find him underneath. After they press, they're going into a box on But he's playing on the outside tonight. He hasn't played on the uh, inside in a while. So we'll see what happens with that. They're trying to post him up, I believe. Yep. Colin in the corner. Two-pointer. Colin Manarek. Zone trap, zone trap, pressure on the outside. Colin comes up, stolen by Bush. He's got hands. Ooh, boy, that could have been a foul, but a nice drive. Had a little body contact right there. Oh, Joey Anderson with the hands. We got the numbers here. Logan Pronto finishes it off with a nice assist. And a finished layup. Really, they're playing, they're playing like a one-two-one one trap. They got, they got Wilson by playing all the way back, man-to-man -man on, on uh, O'Neal. Clay with the driving layup on the right side. Joey Anderson on the fly. Kicks it out to Peranto. Colin Manarek, no good. Looking for O'Neal, number five. Abar is on him. Abar stays with him. He stays with him, as Jerry pointed out. It's a 2-2 box in one. Now a turnover by the Wolverines. Number 22, Steve Olson. Call for the travel. You're welcome very much. Good Bruce brings it up. Logan Peranto, deep. Yes. Deep three. It's a deep three by Logues. Still the pressure, still the pressure. O'Neal down low. Got the low post, went up on the glass. He gets the ball down there, it's gonna to be tough to stop. Yeah. Can't let him have it down there. Right. Joey Anderson trying to save it. Ball out of bounds, put in play. Goslin over to Clay. Clay gets it up to Olsen. Double team. Another turnover, another turnover. Nice look away. Good pass Driving. Looked away, nice, nice pass. Yeah, it was, it was very nice. Brandon Boucher on the line.
Hope was good. All right, two free throws by Brandon Boucher. Still like the pressure. So Brandon back there, Joey Anderson. Here comes Colin for help. They kick it out to the corner. Nice basket. <coughs> by number 20, that's O'Connor. Nice, you got a release tonight. You got a perfect release. That was a nice three. Four. Yep. Is that a three pointer? Yeah, yeah that was a three pointer. Okay. O'Connor in the corner, no good. Oh, nice hands by Wilson A. Bar. He's got the numbers again. Oh, nice look away. Nice finish. Wilson A. Bar. And it's time out, Wolverines. As the Indians are burning it here in the first period, 16 and 7. That defense is still on fire. Yeah, he just yep. changed the front. He went from a one. He went from like a one, two, two, one, three, one. He put a two-man front now to a two, one, two. But Wilson's just playing uh, Jack O'Neill and, and man to man. So I think a good job with Coach Brown and Justin. He's trying to throw different fronts and just keep Wilson on him for right now. They're doing a good job, um, and this way he keeps him off the boards too. As long as Wilson can keep him out of going inside the paint, he should be okay. Yep, very good, very good. I like the start when they get out like get out in front. They're getting a running game, running game going early, and they got the numbers coming down on that fast break. You know, like they always got a man extra. They got the numbers coming down on the break. They got three on two, look away passes, nice finish, unselfish team, and uh, Logan two threes. Uh, looks like he's got the stroke back, yeah, so that's good. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. Buster brings it up in the backcourt. Coming out of the timeout. Buster looking for a strategy to get this ball, get some clean offense going. They're trying to post the wheel down low. Yep. Can't let her have it there. Yep. It's a tough handle for Wilson right. once he gets that position. Okay. Looking for we they are moving it quick enough back to the weak side to try to dump it down a little meal. So we gotta get help from someone else outside. Yep. Taven Pantabong is in for the Indians. Abar's got the ball on the outside. He's looking for the shot, didn't have it. Oh, nice steal and a save. Oh, Wilson look at Peyton Wilson Aba. Way to go! Or is that Taven? It looked like Wilson. Yeah, that was Wilson. Yeah. yeah. That was a hustle play on defense. Okay, good baseline. Didn't give him that baseline shot. Got him up in the air, fake, almost a steal. Oh boy, a little touch, a little touch, a little touch foul there. It was good defense, but call him, but he's gonna be called for the foul. It's Collins first. Corner on the line for the uh, Woolies. Shot for Wolverines. The papers refer the Wolverines as the Woolies. Okay, Joey's back in, Joey Anderson. Logan brings it up. Over the bush, bush on the, oh, he got caught for the extra step. Still the 
pressure, still the pressure. There's going to be a foul on that play. Nice steal again. Anderson is there. Joey Scott, he, he's good at this press game. He, yep. he really helps out double team everyone. <laughs> Brandon with the ball. Wilson eight by likes to spot. Ooh. Nice pass. Oh! That was a nice pass. Couldn't finish it off. Going the other way. Looks like the foul is on 23. Jordan Jones. Here's a battle. O'Neal with the steal and the putback. <laughs> nice pass. Got a go. Nice pass from Joey. Rogan finishes it off. Wolverines passing it around, looking low, looking low. Still on the perimeter with the ball. O'Connor looking for O'Neal down low. Three point right, number 23. And that's Jones. Eba, no good. Lester can shoot it. Logan Paranto with the shot. Nice little Jave, about nine feet. Flying up the court. Logan gonna be called for the foul. Gonna try to get beat him inside. They're trying to really hamper it now though. O'Neal down low. They gotta get somebody high and low on him. Mitch Toner in for the Indians. We had to, we needed help down low. We didn't get it. Yeah. Good fake by Love. He's gonna go up with that but Oh yeah, he's gotta go up with that. He's in a better position than the guy who's trying to pass it to. Well, it's going to be a travel. Yep. 8.5 seconds left to go in the first period. Got a three-point game here. Indians up 22-19. After that timeout, Lester. Okay, end of the first period. The Indians, 22, less than 19. And Jerry, after that quick timeout, they were trailing by eight. The Wolverines are trailing by eight. After the timeout, they change a little bit. Now they're getting the ball down low and working on their offense. And they got a couple of three-point shooters. You said they could shoot. Yeah, 23, 23 can shoot it. We made one, though, one or two here. But, you know, we've got to stop O'Neal from touching the ball inside. It, you know, even if we have to go back to a regular zone, or we might go to a trap down as man-to-man -man and see if we, you know, do something different here. Because they, they can't probably, we don't have the height down low to, you know, to defend him inside. If he's no, going to no. post down low. So, yeah, we're probably yeah. going to, you'll probably jump to a man or to a zone right now. Give okay. him something else defensively. Yeah, you think you get, like you say, you're going to keep, keep changing it up against the Wolverines. They know what they do. They've got a specific game plan. 
and make a nice comeback. The Indians are still getting getting the turnovers, still getting the fast break going. But you can see, as you mentioned, they have the athletes, and they're going to give us trouble tonight. And, but we've been meeting the challenge all season long, right. and we're going to have to do it again tonight. Okay, right in front of the table here, we got Logan Paranto, number 12. He'll throw it into Brandon. Wolverines drop back. Right now, it looks like man to man. Colin Manaric with the ball. Mitch setting the pick. Deep three. Nice going, Brandon. Nice to see Brandon hit that first three. Moving the ball side to side. Nice drive. Ooh, and he's fouled. Foul on Tona. Coach is telling him to move and slide with him. Don't try to jump with him. Right. Have him do it before, instead of going to the hole. Yep. Good rebound. Wilson, Aba, no good. O'Neal with the rebound. Fast break. Beat us down the court. Beat us down the court. Clay beat the Indians down, two-point game. A second time, Clay beat us down on the court, and that coach doesn't like that. He's got to hustle back, tied at 25 with 6.50. Russ is getting the ball down. You don't see Bauer getting beat down the court much, but he did it two times in a row. We got to get back. We got to get back. Yeah, they're beating him back. They're yep. Beating him back. They're going to go to a smaller lineup probably. Yep. And, you know, try to even give up some sides. They're going to have to try to get back and uh, lock the beat up and down the floor here. Yep. Get our bottle of cheerleaders doing their thing here. We'll just take a break and watch them. I gotta check that record again. This looks <laughs> stronger than a three and five team. Uh, yeah, they lost a few close ball games. Uh, you know they weren't they yeah. playing that well. Okay. They played good the last couple of games out, but uh, they always seem to lose it at the end here. But mm -hmm. they're coming in right up. Like a few seniors here playing their last time against Bowers, so they wanna you know try to give, give it all our effort here. All right. Tied at 25 with 6.50 to go in the second period. Brandon over to Aba. Oh, should have taken the shot. Okay, all right, good try. Unselfish, trying to hit the open man on the drive. But I like it when they drive and go right to the hoop. I don't like them passing too much in that lane. Logan with the ball. Colin, Colin. We still got it, we still got it. Indians out of bounds. Turnover. Tied at 25. Man to man, set up defensively. Got to set the picks up high, high and low. Oh, boy, that looked good. A lot of contact there. A lot of contact. Letting it go. Oh, could have been travel right there. Press the ball, the corner on the rebound. 
knocked out of bounds by the Indians. Olsen comes in. Gosselin comes in. Files on number 12. They're getting that step, driving into the hoop, and it's what we have to coach states. You got to play with the legs. You got to play with the legs. Drive to the hoop. That means you're getting beaten on the first step. Clay misses it. Pantabong in for uh, Logan. Jump ball, possession, Lester. Lester's Gossel and will put it in play. They like to go deep. Trying to get it down to the post. Looking for O'Neal and Ten. They're two big guys. That's a big kid. Yeah, Clay, Clay is big. Yeah. Hello, boy. Joey, way to battle. Come on, Willie. Boy, we need you tonight with that shot. Had three chances right there, couldn't finish it. Indians trail by two. Coach is looking for somebody to get the hot hand offensively. O'Neal, deep jumper, look for three. Clay with the rebound, he gets up there. Trying to hold him back there. Good switch, good switch. Be careful down low at 24. <coughs> Ethan Manalek in, he's a shooter. Nice steal. Don't have the numbers, don't have the numbers. That a boy, push. Boy, that was a good looking shot. Not falling right now, not falling. Setting it up, working. O'Neal deep. Three pointer for O'Neal. Bottle of timeout, we can't let these guys shoot. We can't let these guys without at least a uh, Hands in the face, something. You can't give him the free pass. Where uh, coach wants to get him out there. What teams are doing to us? They take away the three pointers. They're playing outside the arc, playing outside the arc. Right. We're gonna have to come out too. But then they got the threat of going down low. But everybody's gonna do their job defensively. What well, we really work hard defensively, and what's. And I know coach is fired up and he gets upset, but not for shooting, for not hitting your spots on defense. That's what gets any coach going because with his size and his speed, everybody has a responsibility on defense and they got to get to that spot on defense or it opens everything up. We'll get it back here. Okay, 30 to 25, timeout was Bartlett's. I would say off the bench is... Uh, Ethan Manarek. Okay. Push brings it up. Hello, boy. Nice pass. Save a nice pass, good finish, Bush. Out of way to get back, get away, right, oh, I gave him a path. Good hustle, Bush, good hustle. Bartlett ball. Nice defense by Bush. Does a lot of work underneath. 
He's going to have to rebound. He, he can get up there. Yeah, he can jump. Yeah. Got a good wingspan. He'll set it up. No. How can that be not on the shot? Oh boy, what a... All right. He called it on the arm, that's what his shooting arm. Okay. Foul is on Neil. It's two on Jack. Yeah. Better get another one on him. Play. Yep. Mill is out. Now, 23, George Jones. A full trap, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Nice move. Way to go. Brandon Boucher is hustling underneath. Always second effort. Always second effort. Fouls on Jones. He's second. Brandon on the line. <laughs> He'll shoot two. And we, that puts us in the bonus, one and one, with seven fouls. <laughs> Boy, Joe, he just flies all over the place. He just, hey, Hustle. Yeah. Cross on the start, he's back in, setting up at the point. Nice hoop by Slarkis. Get back, get back, get back. Don't give him an easy path. They're gonna have to let him go. He's got two fouls. Yeah. Yep. 34-28. Lester out in front. There's an official timeout. I think we got blood on the floor. Joey's at Joey Anderson's taping back in for the Indians. Nice drive by Logan. That's three fouls. Possession, Lester. <laughs> Scramble on the floor. Almost look like a travel. Lester patient with their offense right now. They get a six point lead. They're looking for the good shot. Oh. Nice play by Brandon. Nice going, Taven. Good hustle, getting down the floor. I'll tell you, Bush is all over the floor too, creating a lot of havoc. Oh, that's a travel. He just missed a travel out there. That was a travel. I'd like to see Wilson bang a couple here, Colin.
Carson with the basketball, looking down low, nothing out there, still on the perimeter. Olsen with it, Olsen on a drive. And it's good. You got the step. Good hustle underneath by Colin. Colin will go to the line, shoot a pair. In for the Indians, Juan Rivera Sanchez. Taping out, a little bit bigger lineup. Two good shots right there. This That's Colin's second foul, I believe. All right? They got it one. They got him one. We'll have to check our scorekeeper. What does she have? I hope it's only one. <laughs> Goslin on the line makes it. O'Connor in for the Indians. 47 seconds left to go in the first half. Russell makes both of them. Eight point lead. Wilson, that our way to go. We need him tonight, we need that big three. Defense, good defense. Finish it. <laughs> Foul is going to go against Lester. He, uh, I think he called the jump pass. He did? Okay. All right. I was wondering why I went there and going to the line. Plus will play for the last shot. Good going, good going, Ethan. Nice steal, that'll put him on the line. He'll shoot two. Make the next one, make the next one. That a way to go, okay. Two seconds left. That ends the second period. And that half, the Indians, 36. The visiting. Lester Wolverines, 40. We're going to take a break right now, get our stats later on. And uh, Jerry, we'll take a break right now. We'll come back with the wrap-up for the start of the third period. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we are, we are, we are. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Go water. I have a good one. 
Hi, we are back here. We're going to read our sponsors at halftime. We want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors who help support Bartlett basketball on our community access channel and online at the Bartlett High School website. The Starzak and Patterson family, good luck for four generations of BHS grab grads. Park and Shop Supermarket, Airport Road in Dudley, serving the Webster Dudley community since 1918. Place Motors, 19 Thompson Road in Webster, Massachusetts oldest fam owned Ford dealership since 1923. Polish American Veterans Club, Ray Street, Webster. Good luck to the Indians from your friends at the PAV. Nipmuc Liquors, Thompson Road in Webster, supporting youth activities in our community. Map Free Insurance Company, committed to providing high quality products and services with exceptional customer experiences. The Webster Fish and Game and Disc Golf Course, Gore Road in Webster. Check out the fish after a big Bartlett win. Pete's Tire and Oil, South Main Street, Webster, for express oil changes and great tire sales. Nobody beats Pete's. The Webster Five Cent Savings Bank, all your banking needs at Thompson Road in Webster, with branch offices in Dudley, Oxford, Auburn, Worcester, and Shrewsbury. Thanks to all our sponsors whose contributions help support the Bartlett Athletic Program. Thank you, Mo. Halftime stats as Mo comprise them. We've got uh, for Lester Wolverines. Bruce Goslin has 10. Jake O'Neill, 10. Luke Clay with a big first half with 12. And we've got O'Connor with 5. Olsen with 4. Jones with 3. And Slarkus with 4 for a total of 40 points. For the Indians, Abar has 7. Brandon Boucher has 10. Logan Peranto, 12. Colin Manarek has 4. We have our Velo. Check that. Hold on a minute. We've got uh, Taven Pantabong, Pantabong with 2. And Ethan Manarek with 1 for a total of 36. And Jerry? Not a real good first half for the Indians, getting beat off the glass, and uh, Lester coming back with a very good offense. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously Grand Mason is right here, and that, that really hurts us inside. But, uh, you know, we're only down four. We played a good, I, I feel a good half offensively. 20 points average, 20 points in the quarter. Um, we got to play better defense. We can't let really get the ball inside. Our uh, pressure still is working. They're still throwing the ball around a little bit, Lester. So I think you'll see Coach come back, still stay with a little bit of press. But we got to get back defensively. We can't let them have easy baskets. And also on the offensive side, we got to make a couple of those threes. We started off making those three points beyond the arc. But since we've chilled, the last one we got was uh, Wilson. Wilson Aba got a three-pointer with about uh, three minutes left to go in the first half. But other than that, uh, uh, shooting has been real cold after the first period. we got to get that back. But I think defense gives you the offense. That's how this structure is made up basketball-wise. That's what we have to do. We've got to... We've got an individual, a couple of guys with foul trouble here. One is uh, Logan Peranto. He's got three fouls. We've got uh, Colin Manarek. I said he had two, but he's only got one. But it looks like uh, Logan is the only one who's in foul trouble right now. And for the uh, Wolverines, Jack O'Neill has two. And Jordan Jones has two as well. Should be a very interesting second half. The Indians, as you mentioned, getting beat a lot on the on the glass. They've got that power down low. They've got some size down low without Grand Mason in there. And uh, you know, once the flu bug hits, the flu bug hits. There's nothing you can do about it. So the Indians are going to have to sharpen up, keep playing that tough defense, and make a couple of these shots. Yeah, I think you know, I, I think we're okay with you know, obviously. We're 
down four points. We'll be all right. I just think you're going to take better shots, better selection of shots. Let's just get down here and fire it up. Move, you know, move the ball to get open look. If they're open, they're going to hit a lot of shots. We're just going to take a good shot every time down. Hi, Joe. Indians took a full halftime breather over there, trying to get it back. That pressure defense. <laughs> no. No calls in about the refs. <laughs> Everything's under control here at Hardwood here on Lake Parkway. Bartlett High School Gymnasium. Wolverines have the basketball. Indians starting five up there, starting. All right, Bowers dropped into a straight zone now. Yep. Obviously, they're going to know where five is, where 23 is. Boy, that's a loud. Ooh, that's a little carry. That's a big foul. That's an offensive foul we call. That's a third foul. Wow. I thought it was going the other way, but that's Jack's third foul. And as you say, Jerry, that's a huge foul. He was kind of skipping out of control and he made a collision. Looks like. There's a kick ball. Yeah. Okay. Who's with the ball? Got a boy, Joey. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Way to go, Joey. He's going for that Tommy Award again. That's hustle, hustle, hustle. That is awesome. Yeah, we got a Tommy point out there, no question about it. Okay, we've got on the line, we've got Clay. Calling second foul. Forty-one thirty-eight, 6.51. Into the third period. Makes two. Indians trail by four. Brandon with the basketball. That's a way to go. Baseline jump shot. That's a way to do it. That's a mismatch. It's a good play to try to get him in there like that. Yeah. Smaller guy. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, nice. Oh, there's a lot of contact over here. Ah. Gonna take it, he's getting down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's okay. Yep. Good defense so far, Jerry, with yeah. that zone. Yeah, keeping it out of here. Joey, Joey's really causes some havoc. He's playing some good, good defense with hands. Yeah. Oh. Good check, good check. Boosh. Get down, yes! 
Three for the boots, man. Better go, Brandon. Indians go up by one. O'Neal. Two pointer. Can't let him in there. You have to stop it. Yeah. Loved it. Push. Good. Two pointer. I like that step around when he doesn't have the three. No numbers. No numbers. No numbers. Logan. Off to the right a little bit. Okay. Got a good look at it. Nice pass. Give and go. Ooh. Looking for a foul. Didn't get it. O'Neal. Easy. Colin. Three. No good. Two good looks that time on two trips. Yeah, Didn't make it. Good looks. Yep. We're gonna get good shots. Yep. Wide open. If he passed the ball, he got a shot. Yep. Can't let him have his jumpers. Colin, too much. Okay, we've got a uh, number 20, that's O'Connell. O'Connor. Timeout called. Indians, 45-44. We've had some good trips down. Jerry, we just yeah, can't take good, advantage of it. Good we played good defensively, holding on the four points. Yep. In the first five minutes. We've had some good looks, too. We just they're, they're put in. I think if we move the ball, you're going to get a better look. You know, we're trying okay. to take the first thing available and just fire the thing up. Yeah, I, I think, think that. One more pass there, and we, you know, we get a nice clean shot. I think that's exactly what Coach Ponto was, was telling Colin on that last one. He came down real quick, one pass and shoot. That's, as you say, that hasn't been their style. Right. They always have two, three passes, then it's a pop. But they got the lead, they came back a little bit here, 45-44. They're not shooting it well, and they've had three turnovers here already in the uh, second half. Right. Yeah, they'll turn it over. I mean, their ball handling is not real good at it. It's just a matter of they get some shooters yep. and they hustle, so they'll be trying to stay in the ball game. Okay, Clay is out there, 24 is out there, Slukas, O'Connor, Gosselin on the top, Jack O'Neill inbound the basketball. He's got three fouls. Logan has three fouls. Two to key in on each team. Foul trouble. Okay. Another smash in the mouth. Hello, boy, Logan. Can't make that. Can't make that. Got to get it up on a glass, boys. Can't go from the bottom. Good defense, good position, good position. O'Connor. Big guy underneath, got the rebound and put back. Slukas. Indians up by one. I checked that, down by one. Oh, nice basket, fade away by Brandon Boucher. Indians by one.
Foul on Joey. Way to go, Joey. Good effort, good effort. It's only one on Joey. Yep. Crossland. Mitch, Mitch Tona back in for the Indians. Good call, good call. Brandon showing. He's got O'Neal on him. It's a good move right there. Atta boy! Atta boy, Logan. I like that mismatch. As long as you can get yeah. it down here, he's going to yeah. go up all day. You're going to find O'Neal here. Yep, he's right here. What? Well, I need a hoop right here, right up to him. Get it to five or six here. Let's get a good hoop here. Yep. Yes! Logan Peralta, deep three. 52-46, Indians are up. Rebound. Oh, 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 oh. Got away with a foul right there, that was a hack. Yes, way to go! You were hitting it, you were hitting it! He had extra pass, he was going to get the other one back to Logan, he was fast to get a nice open shot. Now they opened it up to nine. Led by Brandon Boucher and Logan Paranto, they're getting it done in the Bartlett defense. Boy, they came back. They were down by one, now they're up by nine. Way to go, Indians. They're streaky. They've had good shots, and like Jerry says, you take that extra pass. What it does is structure offense a little bit, opens up a little bit more. Now they have to play two or three guys on defense. You're having uh, some nice situation in there for Boucher and Logan Peralta. The mismatches are there and the offense is working. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I think defensively we've done a good job of giving them one shot. We're still nowhere on the areas. And, you know, I think they're a little bit tired from the, the pressure we've been putting on. We're just going to keep doing that defensively and offensively. Just move the ball to get one one more pass. Like they did the last two projections, they get nice two open three. One for Logan and one for Boucher. Yep. One oh seven left to go in the third period. Indians, 55. Wolverines, 46. Trapping zone, trapping zone, trapping zone. Trapping zone. Trapping zone. Way to go, way to go. When Eric Guiding the ball. Wolverines break the press. O'Connor, he's hit it before. That a boy calling. That's a good put back. High on the glass. That's where it's going to go. High on the glass. Wolverines looking for something offensively. They really hit a cold spell in the third period. <laughs> Going the other way. Yep. We didn't get the first call. We got the second one. We held them a six so far in you know, almost uh, eight minutes. So that's a pretty good job. Yep. Fouls on 24, I believe. Lucas. Patel, Patel in for the in, uh, Wolverines. Yeah, he, he played a lot the last couple of games. Yeah. Looks like he's got some good size yeah, he is. playing he's out on the point. Uh, yeah. That's a good height. Yeah. 
On the baseline, on the baseline, Bush had him. And O'Neal, he can't be too aggressive under there, so that was a good plan. Oh, good catch. <laughs> good catch here. All right. The Indians with a nice third period run. They'll score them 17 to 6. No, I'm sorry. 19 to 6. Yep. <laughs> I got some stats here. He's probably 21 to 6. Yep. Good. Okay. Yep. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, is that right? I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. We had stats floating around here. Nice job by Mo. Putting it all together. As we start the fourth and final period. Should be our ball, I think, too. Okay, Indians take the ball out of bounds. Okay, bless the ball. Bless the ball. That's how they've been calling it. That's a way to get in front of him. O'Neal with three. Stop and pop every time. Yeah. He ran in my drive. Oh, nice move. Nice drive by Bush. Way to go, Brandon. Wait, I'll go Colin. That's a good putback on the rebound. Playing well tonight, Colin. Way to go. Nice rebound, Wilson. Good position. Joey. Going the other way. I thought he had it. He watched it. Three point. By Olsen. Call a foul on Bush. That's his first foul for Bush. Yep. Zone has been good for the Indians here in the second half. They're looking, they're looking, they're looking, taking a chunk off the clock. Yep. On that zone. Yep. Don't, don't give him a path. No basket. No chance. Good defense. Good defense, guys. Trap clock alarm. Oh, 
Logan with the ball. Set up for the screen. Oh, nice pass. Oh, nice pass and pick and roll right there. Nice roll. Stow. Oh. How do you get it? How do you get it? How did Taven get that shot? Smallest guy in a court. He comes up huge. Had a big, had a go, had a go. Yeah, nice rebound by Logan. Set it up, take a chunk, take a chunk. Setting up the offense, Brandon likes to go one on one. Boy, that's gonna be a. Kick it out, hello boy. Shoot it, you can run out of time. Good. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, he wanted to, he wanted the shot, but he had the coach in his ear. <laughs> okay. On the high post. Logan, no good. Seldom plays with his back to the basket, yeah, but that was the offense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wolverines. Is that a three-pointer? Yeah, Looked it. 22 again. Yeah. He didn't make one in three games. I don't know. He found the rims tonight. Yeah. Time out by less. The Indians have a 10 point lead right now. Olivia. Little throw, but I guess the cheerleader's okay. Yes. Let's hope so. All right. But that was a timeout called by. I believe it was Lester. Lester called a timeout. Yeah, you only have uh, one left. Okay. A lot of strategy here with the shooters. And I love the three-point arc. Nobody's ever out of a game. And you know that from right. experience. Right. And they've got the shooters that can do it. So we got to get hands in the face. we got to get active on that zone. I like it. Sealed it off from that low, low post responsibility. They haven't gotten the ball down there. Could have shooting it from the arc. And they made the last two. So... Just got to hustle out there and get it done. Okay, we've got uh, 3.42 left to go in the game. Indians by 10, 65, 55. Wilson Aba inbound the basketball. Whoa, tank check! A lot of... Got to watch for the hand check. Colin Manarek. Swish! Three-pointer! Having a night, Colin. Having a night. That was a good move to the basketball. They loaded up this side. Yeah. Lester loaded it up. They went to the weak side. And, and a nice jump shot. Deep in the corner. Good rebound, Mitch. Take a chunk. Take a chunk. We gotta call something out there. We gotta call something. Yeah. 
68-58, timeout, Bartlett. Way to go. Come on, Melissa, get it out there. I have to talk about it. I don't want to get trips on the ball. <laughs> no, we, we've got Logan driving to that hole that time. You know, they're not calling that shot, that, that foul. They're just yeah, not just doing it. They're not calling any reaching foul. They be, looks like they only have to be fouled on a shot tonight. I yeah. Pretty good ref to this. Yeah. Always just good ref to Carlin had a nice four or five minutes there. He's playing really good. We needed him. Carlin Manaric. Yes. Yep. I, I wanted to be my brother. They've heated it up just a bit. Heated it up just a bit. Lester with their three point shots. And this is O'Neill time right oh, now. That is two. We got two, we got two threes in a row here. Yep. Uh. We had a 13 point lead twice. He cut it back to 10. Yep. Okay, ball of basketball. Looks like they're going full court pressure. Yeah, man to man full they want. After only a couple minutes left. Logan, two pointers. 21. <laughs> Twelve point lead by the Indians. O'Neal. No oh good. Call him an Eric there. Oh, tipped it away. There's O'Neal. Take a chunk. Take a chunk. Take a chunk. Spread it out. I mean, didn't have to shoot it. Didn't have to shoot it. You gotta take the that's a foul on Bush. Boy, you come down here one pass and shoot with that score. A minute to go. Uh. Only six fouls in the whole, the whole half. Yeah. Volleyball. Got kind of quiet down off. there. There's no off the ball fouls at all. No. Nope. You got to be fouled on a shot tonight. That's it. All right, good call, good call, good call. How many timeouts, Pollard? Uh, Is that their last? Pollard has two. How they many have fouls? No. Oh. 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 Timeouts. Oh. One each. Oh, one. Okay. One each, one each left. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a real quick shot. Over yeah. there, last time trip down. Yeah. Up right now. Yeah. 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 Coach Peranto with a minute left to go in the game. Once, once is they're going to inbound the basketball. They got to get the ball in and get it up to get it up the court. Lester's got a lot of fouls to give, so they're going to keep putting them on the line. Not on the line, but they'll keep putting them yeah, on the on the box. Yeah. There you go. Grabbing his shirt. Can you? No, no, no. Yep. When you're coaching and you're ahead, that clock just doesn't move at all. Exactly. Jesus, boy. <laughs> yeah. When you're behind, it's the fastest thing in the world. Got to work it. Got to work it around. Work it around. Take the clock. Come on. It's okay, Joey. Where you go, Joe? Where you go? Work it 
working hard, Joe. We're working hard. the last time out. Okay. That makes it 70. 62 with 31 seconds left to go in the game. Still a game, folks. Still a game. As we mentioned, a three-point knock. That keeps everybody in the game. <laughs> Can't make mistakes here. Taking that ball up. The big key right now is getting that ball up. They're going to get fouled right away. If you can get it past the 10-second line, that will help. Be a great help. So I'm going to just get it up over the 10 second line, settle it down, and then try to foul a couple of times. Just can't get a tap from behind, so we lose the ball. Yep. We need a first down here. <laughs> <laughs> nice job tonight by the uh, Bartlett cheerleaders. They had a little uh, fall over there, but bouncing right back up. They're taken care of. Time is back in. That arrow possession. Lester. Spread it out. The old picket fence. There you go. One. That should be an intentional foul. That should be an intentional foul. Intentional foul. Intentional foul. Grabbing him by the arm. Got to call that. They hesitate to, to call it, but it's obvious. He grabbed him by both arms. Yeah. He's not trying to go for the ball. That a boy, Wilson. That a boy. That a boy, Wilson. That's an excellent play by Wilson. Breaking down here. Way to go, Brandon. What would you do one more time? Push the ball back out. Right here, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one, next one's one on one. Yep. 23 seconds left. We <laughs> pushed them out of bounds. <laughs> That'd be the seventh. We ought to shoot the one and one. Good move by Coach Brown. Get, they got Joey out of the game, bro. He's been another handler, a ball handler, good foul shooter. Yep. Yep. Good uh, point. Good point. Seconds. Yeah, good point. Might miss him on the other end, but. Yeah. But these are big free throws right here for the right. kid. Right. That a boy. That a boy. That's a big hoop. That's a big hoop. Makes it nine. Three possession. Oh, he got him. He got him. That's it. Good look away. Well, they're playing some good basketball here in the fourth period. They really opened it up. Yeah, it's the second half. Excellent second half, Jerry. Excellent. Yep. 36, 36 again, but they held them defensively. They held them down to 24 points in the second half. Pretty good deal in the second half. Yep. All right, Indians. All right. 
Nice victory by the Bartlett Indians tonight. And they fell behind a couple times in this game, but true grit came through again for the Indians. Some fine basketball, great defense, nice coaching on Coach Peranto's side as Jerry brought it up, changed the defensive outlook to set up, uh, and it really helped out. Jerry, good game tonight, nice win for the Indians. We're going to do the stats in a couple of minutes, but I want to have a moment here. We got the sponsors. We got, no, we don't have the sponsors, but we will get them. We're asking Monique to do a lot, and I'll read them off while she's getting the stats ready. I want to take the opportunity to thank our sponsors who help support Bartlett Basketball on a community access channel and online at the Bartlett High website. Stasik and family, and the Patterson family, good luck for generations of Bartlett High School grads. Park and Shop Supermarket serving Webster and Dudley communities. Place Motors, 19 Thompson Road in Webster. Polish American Veterans Club in Race Street, Webster. Nipmuc Liquors, Thompson Road, Webster. Marfrey Insurance, committed to providing high quality products and services with exceptional customer experiences. The Webster Fishing Game and Disc Golf Course. Hey, place to set it up down here, Jerry. Disc golf at the fish. <laughs> Gore Road in Webster. Pete's Tire and Oil, South Main Street, Webster. Nobody beats Pete's. And the Webster Five Cent Savings Bank, all your banking needs. Branch offices in Dudley, Webster, Oxford, Auburn, Worcester, and Shrewsbury. Before we conclude here, we're going to get the stats. Get ready. I want to. I want to thank. I want to thank the uh, people that really helped us out here tonight, especially Jerry the Scout, NATO. A lot of intuition, a lot of knowledge of basketball, and as obvious as he was picking things up, helping yours truly out here. Also, the ace on the camera, the video. This was not a planned uh, <laughs> telecast, but we didn't want to miss anything that's happened to the Indians this year. It's going to be special. And uh, I want to thank Monique Pierangeli for uh, helping us out with the stats. And I can say right now that uh, the next game is Quaybog. And there's a young man who's going to be going for his thousandth point. And what, what does he need, Jerry? Nine. He needs nine Saturday to eclipse that mark, or achieve that mark, I should say. And that's Logan Peranto. I've been playing outstanding. Tonight's game, I'll tell you, there's some, there was some great hustle out there. Brandon Boucher, he had an awesome night. Logan lost the night. Joey Anderson never stops, never stops out there. Colin Menarek played his best game of the season. I thought he was outstanding. I mentioned Brandon Boucher, always a factor out there. Logan Peranto as well. I'll quickly go over the stats. Patel from Leicester had two. Uh, Goslin had two. Leading scorer for the uh, Wolverines is uh, Jake O'Neill, Luke Clay. O'Neill had 22, Clay had 16. O'Connor had five, Stephen Olson 10. Salukas three, and Mike Merrow six. For the Bartlett Indians, Wilson Abar, nine points. Colin Manarek, 11 points, 11 strategic points. Ethan Manarek, two big free throws at the end, he got three. Taven Pantabong got four. Logan Peranto, 21 points tonight. And leading scorer for the Indians, Brandon Boucher. They were tough when they had to beat Jerry. And again, I want to thank you for coming in along with Monique. Nico on the camera. Got anything to add, Jerry? I, no, I just think that, you know, the second half we moved the ball a lot well offensively. Uh, took some real good shots. Obviously, Logan and Brandon Boucher carried the load there. But I can't say enough for, for Wilson and uh, Joey playing the defense on the kid. He was the best player I've seen all year, number five for them. He's just a great athlete. And uh, I think he's headed out to WPI to play basketball. So, I, you know, I just, I think we did a good job defensively in the second half to hold them down to 24 points. 
It's ironic we had two super team members in football on the court tonight. One, Logan Peranto, the other, Jack O'Neill. <laughs> two outstanding athletes in both of their schools. Thank you much for tonight, and go Indians. That's it. That concludes our telecast for tonight.